Good morning, Sailor Nigeria, members of this group and compatriots. I greet you all this morning of the third day of July 2024. My name is Sir Chief Omale Noel Onje, Knight of St. John International, Iklaga One of Orokamu. I am the official spoke person of Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat Virtue Onyeke Enejo's family. We want to break the silence after six years of the demise of his beloved wife today. We make this statement here this day to clear some air of what has been going on, transferring between the late Beatrice Ududu family of the, the Boki people and that of our brother, Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat Onyekenejo. We have watched events unfold, how the misdeed and mistreatment of our brother have been going on for several years. that the families of Beatrice Odudu, or some of them who, in spite of what my brother had done during and after the death of his wife, beloved wife, has kept calm in every matter. These men have risen up. Instead of going to find something reasonable to do or going to find themselves on work have turned themselves into people who search for properties that never existed in the first place. I want to make it known that our beloved ambassador, Jehoshaphat, went to Boki to marry his wife legitimately and legally and went to the Church of God, the Catholic Church, to wed the wife. That makes it the union a legitimate union. And by the Bible standard and every world standard, even Nigeria, that the man shall leave his wife and be cling to his wife, and they two shall become one who's fulfilled. Till death did them part some six years ago. But we will notice that some able bodied men who does not have to work to do so to say, have considered to attempt to nuisance, dragging our brothers up and down in the name of property. Knowing that the property, knowing that no property existed in the first case, that the young man was a very hard working man and a made man even from the onset, from his early 20s, after working in federal government institution and as a businessman, who had earned himself fame as one of the big farmers in animal rearing and crops. Our brother became one of the youngest rich men at the time before he met the wife, even as a civil servant then and before he left. We want to state here that he has children and he has been taking care of his beloved children very well in the last years. The family of Beatrice only cares about one NGO or not, or finances that they anticipated and wants to see how they can bring our brother down. We reject in entirely entirety their moves and their anti antics. And we want to tell the whole world that we are 100, the Onje family, the Onye Kionje family stand 100% behind our brother. And we will use every legal means, every constitutional means to back our brother to ensure that justice prevail in everything. And to answer to the question of um, somebody who claimed that he's a mouthpiece of his gods, with small letter G, we are Catholics. 
and we observe that God, after Jesus Christ came to die, God does not have any mouthpiece, and that no prophet whatsoever has arisen in the Catholic Church that we know. But we know that God speaks even to our hearts. Nobody is a mouthpiece of our God with letter, big letter G, but somebody could be a mouthpiece of his own gods from his community or his own ministry, which Dr. Abel Damina have said already that we know them. We do not care and we do not want to know. Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat Onyekenejo is a complete adult who has a family and can reason with himself, having attained this height in life. And the family, he has families, which I am an elder in the family, that has always been there to advise him on where to do. We reject any advice from any stranger to advise that our brother go to Boki, which he has, the, the, the Beatrice Odudu family have completely severe relationship with threat to his life and other things. We will not condone, our, we, we, no advice of such is welcome by anybody. And that any bias prophecy from a man-made God is not taken. We therefore state it in clear terms and goes thus. Ambassador Dr. Jehoshaphat Onyeke owes nobody any apology. He fulfilled every right of marriage and in death, as the Catholic Church hold it till death do not pass, he fulfilled the burial right as the custom and tradition of the land deserve. That in a rock tradition, a man shall not follow the corpse of the wife for burial, but shall visit the family of the uh, deceased wife after seven to twenty day one days of burial, which we all fulfill and went with the family member. I was personally on ground in Boki for four days until the burial of Beatrice was done and every right fulfilled. We led a delegation of family of over 50 people from Benway State. All family members were there that we were there to do the celebration of life of a lovely, wonderful wife of our family. We missed her and God knows better. But want to state clearly here that nobody, nobody, no matter his antics, can intimidate our brother henceforth. We dare to say that we will stand with our brother to the end and we are ready to defend him with every means that is constitutionally provided by the law of the land or concern of Nigeria. We employ anybody that have any grievances that so with should just step clear and that the advice is ill-conceived by whoever is giving the advice and with ulterior motive. We are going to state clearly that our brother remains our brother. And he is a known name in Orokamu. We celebrate him each day because of his callings. We celebrate him because of his giant stride. We celebrate him each day because of who he is. We want to thank everybody who has been misled before that the Orokamu people are here. And the Francis Enejo Onje Onyeke family, they are here behind their son. And we will always respond appropriately to every misdeed, every utterance that is not for our brother. Thank you all and good morning. May God bless you all. I remain Sir Elder Omale Onje. Thank you.